Welcome to internal rate of return. Understanding internal rate of return requires a background in net present value. So let's review the cash flows that were presented in the video titled Net Present Value Explained in 5 Minutes. We discounted the cash flows at 10%. We determined that the net present value was $283.51. Now we are going to create a table to compare NPV at different discount rates. At 8%, the NPV of these cash flows comes out to $745.48. At 12%, the NPV comes out to be negative 145.29. The numbers in the table suggest that as the discount rate rises, the NPV drops. This suggests that at some discount rate, the NPV equals zero. Our goal is to determine that discount rate. The discount rate where NPV equals zero is known as the internal rate of return or the IRR. The IRR is also known as the break-even discount rate. Because at this discount rate, the present value of cash inflows equals the present value of cash outflows, of course with opposite sign. In this example, the IRR is 11.31%. In other words, if we discount each cash flow to t equals zero at 11.31% and add them all up, they would add up to $9,000. Now let's discuss the importance of learning about the IRR. We saw that as the borrowing cost rises, the NPV declines. Thus IRR is the limit of cost of capital for a project. If the borrowing cost exceeds the IRR, the NPV will turn negative and the project would be rejected. IRR is related to NPV in the sense that a project with a positive, positive NPV will have its cost of capital or the borrowing cost lower than the IRR. So they both lead to the same decision about accepting or rejecting a project. However, a drawback of the IRR is that it cannot be used to rank mutually exclusive projects. Since a project with the highest RRR would not necessarily be the most profitable project. Another drawback of the IRR is that a set of cash flows may have multiple IRRs. Both of these drawbacks are a subject of another video in the future. In part two of this video, we'll look at using the financial calculator to determine the IRR. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful.